قول كم تبى اسرح؟ The trees, though, I'm surprised there's trees. Hello, Russia. Hi, the coach. What do you do? <laughs> you all flying. What's good? What's good? good? Everything good? Yeah. You all coming here. Thank you. Shukran. All right, I'll do I mean, it's been a long season. I've been in three different countries. One, two, three, four, this is my fifth team. It's here we haven't really won, but we've been close, right there. What's his name? Farqa. <laughs> they all have funny names to English people. But I do know also that a lot of people aren't cut out for this, you know, switching different country to country, not really knowing what's next coming to a, a war country or whatever. But that, that stuff excites me. <laughs> I kind of like it. Here they just give us straight cash, <laughs> straight American cash. But uh, in Qatar, I had a bank account and then I, yeah, I could just transfer it back home. My account in Qatar, it was like over 100,000 reals. I was like, I need to somehow get the bank to make a mistake and put that in over 100,000 American dollars for me. And so this is, is this pretty much what you see of Baghdad, like from the hotel to the stadium? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, there's nothing really to do. I mean, we went to a hookah lounge one time, but uh, I don't know. I'm really here for a job. I don't want to do much exploring, dangerous or not dangerous. I would, you know, try and keep it just a hooping. We hear gunshots every now and then, but you know, ain't nothing I ain't heard before. One of the guys plays for Al Hilla. There was a car bomb that went off at, in front of their hotel, <laughs> destroyed some of the rooms. And I was like, so did that not scare you? He's like, yeah, I wanted to go home, but we just switched hotels. I was like, yeah, that might've freaked me out. Sure enough, man, around 8, 8.30, boom. Car bomb blows off, you know, shakes the hotels. Almost like a like a, like a small earthquake. But that was like, so I, I hadn't been here two weeks. Okay. You know what I mean? And then that happened, so I was kind of like, you know what I'm saying? In my room. And when that thing went off, and it was 50 times stronger than anything I've ever imagined. I can't even lie, man. I'm on the third floor. You, the room across from me was destroyed. You know what I mean? If I'm sleeping in that room, I'm gonna have some injuries. You know what I mean? It would be destroyed, dude glass everywhere, TV off, falling off the, off the wall, it was crazy. I was ready to go home. Oh, this is the gym. I don't know the name of it, but uh, it's pretty nice, big. I wish it would get filled to the brim. A lot of fans, that'd be nice, but there'll be a nice amount of people in here. We have to start We're going to
just hard because like you can only have two Americans on the floor, but they're gonna pay so well here. But it's like, do you want to play or do you want to sit? Is it about getting money or is it about playing? So I don't know. In the Middle East, they pay like much, much more than Europe. I mean, I was getting like 9,000 in Qatar a month to here. Next year they're talking about like bumping it up, double the salary. There's a nice looking lady at the front desk. Ah, oh, but she's not here at nighttime. I've drank alcohol seven times since I left the country. Yeah, it, I mean, they don't sell it. Um, it's like once a month they sell alcohol and it, um, once a month they sell alcohol, but you have to have a letter from your employer to even be able to buy it. No, it's my first year out of college. I am a rookie. <laughs> this is how we're living. Oh, my boy Marcel got MVP. They gave him a vacuum cleaner <laughs> for uh, MVP. Uh, whatever. They sent me the thing. They were like, you got to offer in Iraq. And I was like, that's crazy. Because it's pretty much the one country on earth that I was like, okay, I'm not going to play there. <laughs> I find this pretty uh, interesting. You know, you come here and you shower without a curtain. <laughs> so you get to just get the drain and let it ride. But then they sent me, you know, the salary and they were like, you'll only be there 45 days tops. Yeah, we don't wander <laughs> the streets. And it's not, not from danger or anything. We just, we just don't do it. We know there's not really any places to go out, and so, you know, we get, we have a restaurant here. We sleep and we can conversate and talk to our people back home. That's pretty much life out here. Don't know, they say we're supposed to play series for third and fourth. I'm not too thrilled about that. Why the heck are you playing if you can't win the championship? I'll definitely have a talk with my agent tonight. Like in the Middle East, when it comes to money, okay. it's like you gotta chase them all around, and try to you know, get them up. Okay. In this, in this league and everything. They have money in this league. They just don't like paying people. Is, is this the only place you get paid straight cash? No, I've got paid, paid straight cash everywhere else. I realize what they bring us over here to do. You know, they bring us over here to breathe. LeBron James, Kevin Durant, and Kobe, Kobe Bryant all wrapped in one, you know, so you kind of got to go out there and do your best impression. I think the thing that they're really trying to do, the part of the game that they're really still trying to develop is the, um, the structural part of it. I think that's the kind of stuff that they still have to work on. You know, you can't just send guys out there to play. the same battle in a sense, you know what I mean? Obviously, you know, you want to go out there and try to win, but we're all fighting the same battle. We fight for it. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, man? Marshall. Thank you. My time is up here. <laughs> it is about time to go elsewhere. <laughs>